hey guys how you doing I have another public service announcement for you guys have you seen this new form from Cricut it's called Cricut Vision it costs $59.99 but I want to tell you guys do not buy this phone why because you can buy the same phone for $49.99 from AT&T and that other phone is the AT&T prepaid Axia guys and it's $49.99 actually on Walmart I think is 49 flat. So the announcement I have to tell you is this. The AT&T prepay, AT&T Axia is exactly the same as the Cricut Wireless Vision. Okay? One cost and look at this guys on Walmart, the Vision it costs even more, 67.99 instead of 59.99 at Best Buy. 59.99 is the price that most retailers have it for. But again, guys, this phone, the Cricut Vision, is the same as the AT&T Axia. So why pay $10 more? Cricut, you need to match the prices. A similar thing happened with the Huawei Elite and the Ascent XT2. I think I did a video about that, guys. Don't buy the Cricut Vision. Buy the AT&T Axia. And you know what? If you want to use Cricut, you can still use it with the Axia because it's an AT&T phone. All right, guys? I want to talk about the specs, right? What do you get for $59.99? This is what you get for $59.99. But first of all, guys, the AT&T Axia model number is QS5509A. And the Cricut Vision model number is DQON5001. So different model numbers, the same phone. All right, guys, so let's talk about the specs. Both phones, they have Android Oreo Go. So what is Android Oreo Go? It's pretty much Android Oreo. It's a version created for phones that, budget phones, you know, phones that they don't have a lot of memory, a lot of space. So let's say it's like a um, compressed version of the Oreo, okay? And the version that comes with the phone is the 8.10, all right? Let's talk about the screen, guys. You're talking about a 5.5 inch screen. It's a big phone, right? But look at the pixels, guys. You are talking about a resolution of 854 by 480. So it's a 16 by 9 aspect ratio, but the quality is not the best. You know, you're talking about a, a, a budget phone. Okay. How about the camera, guys? The main camera has only 5 megapixels and the selfie camera only 2 megapixels. So, you know, guys, budget phones, not good cameras. All right, and how about the processor? It's a 1.1 gigahertz quad-core processor. That's an old Snapdragon 210. How about the battery, guys? The battery is kind of okay, you know, 3,000 milliamp, not bad. They claim they have HD voice. I didn't test it. I'm going to believe them. And this is something good, guys. It has 16 gigabytes of storage. Usually, phones on this price range are only 8 gigabytes of storage, but this one has 16. And the good thing, guys, is that because it's using Android Oreo, it's only using 3.37 gigabytes. So you have 12.63 gigabytes available for you to download music, apps, videos, whatever you want. I can tell you that the Android security patch level is June 5, 2018. Okay? This is another thing, guys. On Android Oreo Go, Google is not responsible for the updates. The carrier is responsible for the update. So AT&T or Cricket, those are the ones that are going to push uh, the update security patches, not Google, all right? That's the main difference between the regular Oreo and the Oreo Go. And this is another good thing, guys. You can put up to 128 gigabytes of extra storage if you use a micro SD card. Again, look at this guy. Only one gigabyte of RAM. Is that going to be enough? Maybe for Oreo Go, maybe. And the video camera records at 1080p at 30 frames per second. Not bad for a budget phone. So, yeah, guys. But we still don't know who is building this phone. You know, so we have it for Cricket. We have it for AT&T. But we don't know the manufacturer, you know. And I have a... I can guess that it's a company called Freetail. I, guess, I think it's a Japanese company called Freetail that is doing these phones. And why I'm saying that? Because... The phone, look at the back of the phone, guys. It, and especially look, I don't, I don't know if you can see that. Look at this part here. It's really similar to the, remember the Cricut Wave? I did the first review on this phone, guys, the Cricut Wave. 
It's a really similar phone. And I remember this phone was a mystery also. Nobody knew who built it. Now everybody knows. But again, guys, I think the Cricket Vision or the AT&T Axia is built by this company, Freetail. And, you know, I can be wrong. I don't know. But there's no information out there. So that's my guess. And that's it, guys. I just wanted to let you know, don't buy the, don't buy the Cricket phone. Buy the AT&T phone. It's the same phone and it's cheaper. So that's it guys and I want to also tell you that I see a current trend online there's a lot of people they want to be first so they just throw a review out there that doesn't have a lot of information or enough information I mean I took my time I did a little research I'm showing you you know some specs that all the reviews they don't show so please don't forget to subscribe don't forget to click on the little bell so you can get the updates when I upload any new video and thank you for your support. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.